here at Gleason's Gym in Brooklyn, New York, and this is for the Danny Garcia going up against Ivan Redcash card. It is a WBC welterweight title eliminator fight. It'll take place Saturday, January 25th at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. It'll be broadcast live on Showtime, brought to you by Premier Boxing Champions. Also in the house, we have Jared Hurd, who will be going up against Francisco Santana. And now, let's go to the media workouts. Last week, what happened with, with, with uh, J-Rock and Rosario, which I had the all, utmost respect for J-Rock. But, you know, it just, it just, if you have two good hands, anything's possible. How do you feel about this weight, seeing that you're moving up in face to someone that's considered pretty big for this weight as well? Yeah, I mean, an opportunity to present itself to fight someone like Jerry Hurd, so I can't turn it down. Uh, yes, I, I'm, I'm a campaign at welterweight for most of my career and fought a lot of the elite fighters in, in, in the welterweight division, but when, uh, when an opportunity like that uh, is presented, like I said before, it's, uh, I can't turn it down. Um, so I said yes. I know they choose me for a reason, but I also picked him for a reason, you know, so I, I agreed to fight him and then and, and try to display uh, a side that nobody's ever seen from me before. Have you seen any weaknesses from the fight from Hurd had with J-Rock going into this fight? No, well, I mean, you know, I think J-Rock was just a better man that night. Um, and it happens, it's boxing, you know. Um, I, 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 I see some stuff. I'm sure people have seen some stuff on me. Um, I see a lot of strengths of his, you know, so it's just tuning in on Saturday. What do you make of uh, Jared's performance of the last week? I mean, I, we were all in shock. I was in shock, you know, considering that J-Rock, uh, since, since we fought back in, you know, 2011 or 12, uh, he's improved so much. Uh, I actually, I actually pick up some a couple moves from him, you know, because yeah, man, you know, he's improved so much, and and that fight, I mean, that's why you know Rosario. I seen him fight before when he fought Nathaniel Gallimore. Uh, I just think you know uh, maybe it was just you know the the, the, the wrong game plan, uh, but he's been there before, and I'm sure he'll bounce back again. Like you just said, he's obviously bounced back before. Um, do you think Jared Heard was just made for him? Or do, you, do you see him coming back uh, and winning another title in the division? Um, wait, repeat that question? Do you think Jared Heard was made for him? Obviously, he bounced back going forward and uh, faced Jared Heard. Do you think it'll be the same forward, or do you think you know he won't win a title the way? Because we'll, we'll we'll find out this weekend. You know, I mean, he has the, this is his first fight back since since the J Rock fight, and some people. Uh, it's hard for you know some people you know they fall through depression and it's hard for them to bounce back up so it, it all depends of on, on what was you know if anything was taken out of him from from his fight with J-Rock you know so we'll, we'll, we'll have to wait and see what uh, going forward from that you know final message to five fans everybody just tune in on Showtime you know I know I'm a I'm a big underdog and there's been a lot of uh, big upsets lately so I'm uh, I'm here trying to Trying to make my Rocky story, you know. Uh, my uh, Rocky Two is my favorite movie, and the, the best quote was when the Duke was telling uh, when the Duke when the Duke was telling Apollo Creed, "He's all he's all bad for us, baby. That man just keeps coming after you. I see no man get hit before, and he kept coming after you. So um, expect that from me." Expect that from me, you know. Can you talk about how you prepare for Jared Hurd's size and what he brings to the ring? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know, you, you think that I'm moving up to, to the super welterweight division, right? I was in there. At least, you know, fighting the average 54, you know, fighting the biggest 54 pounder, you know, uh, out there. But um, I just, you know, we prepare with the. the Intense sparring, you know, with sparring is key because it's the closest thing to a fight. You can hit the bags, we can do do the drills, do the mitt work, but um, the closest thing to a fight is is, is sparring because it's that's basically it. So I, I, I spar with tall dudes, big guys that were pushing me around and giving me a, 
basically giving me a hard time, and that's what I, I need to get comfortable to be able to do that. Perfect. Anything else, guys? We're good. And I'm Crystal Hart reporting from Gleason's Gym here in Brooklyn, New York. Hope you've enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the fights.